Good morning from Canmore. It's a little snowy outside. Oh, is it a stressful drive here. I drove through a snowstorm all the way from Revelstoke to here. That's a long ways. I don't know exactly how far, but it's a long ways. Ridiculous. My stomach is just in knots this morning because it was a stressful driving, but I made it to here anyways. Fell into spot, a little rest area to pull over, and this is where we are now. Now Diesel's just taking his uh, morning stroll. He's a little busy right now, though, if you know what I mean. Standing right here in front of me. You don't want to see this, though. All right, Diesel. There he goes. Diesel, come here. He loves snow. Hard to get him to listen to me when there's snow. <laughs> something that happens in winter time that you guys got to pay attention to. <laughs> that's not good. Don't drive down the highway like that. Okay, that's why I came back here to check to see if my taillights were visible. Can you see my taillights? Can you see my signals? Can you see my brake lights? Neither can I. So, clean those things out so people can see those things because these new LED tail lights they don't melt the snow the old bulbs they used to melt the snow right but these ones you always got to stop every so and so often to make sure because all the snow always gets stuck in there right make sure your plate is cleared off as well oh, somewhat there you go people can see what you're doing I'll also stop in about another half hour or so and check on it well, maybe not a half hour have a couple hours stop Oh, use your own judgment. Here we go. Start to another crappy day. I was hoping to be home today. Not gonna happen. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, Canadian weather. Days like this, I love being Canadian. Oh, okay, so we're gonna merge onto the Trans-Canada Highway here somewhere and uh, be on our merry little way. I hope they plowed and salted the roads already. Turn left on 2-1. Because, uh, when I got here yesterday, I was driving on roads that hadn't been plowed yet. That wasn't very fun. Not very fun at all. I'm really glad that I'm really heavy. So I'm like a tank. Just plow through everything. Okay, that gear is too low, Josh. Let's, there you go. Let's use a different gear. Looks like they somewhat have it cleared. Man, did they ever get snow. It's still snowing. So sick of winter. Done with this stuff. I want to go to Florida. California. Somewhere down there. Somewhere nice. I want palm trees. The funny thing is, we're as far south as we can go in Canada. <laughs> We can't get any warmer than this, unless you go out to uh, like where we were, Vancouver, but then it's raining all the time. All right, good, the roads have been plowed. Doesn't look like they've been salted, but at least they're clear. All right, let's give her. Let's go! Woo! In 2.5 kilometers, Exit 177, on right, to Highway 201 North. I think I'm allergic to winter. We're just getting into Calgary here. We're gonna be going around their little, uh, roundabout, what do you call it, bypass thingy around the north, the Stony Trail or something like that. Then we're going to be stopping in uh, Strathmore for fuel. It's about a half hour on the other side of Calgary. So good to be back on the prairies. You know, I don't say that very often, but I do not like BC in wintertime. I'm sorry, BC people. Those roads suck in winter. I don't mind the other side of the mountains, but even on the other side of the mountains, in Vancouver is too rainy. 
like my prairies. And the east, I hear the maritimes are nice and warm still. Above 10 degrees Celsius. It'd be nice to be out there. Oops, I gotta turn here. Gotta turn here. 177 on right to Highway 201 North. Mandy, you gotta be a little more on the ball. You gotta let me know before the turn that I have to turn, not at the turn. Or if there's traffic, I'd be stuck in that lane. Drive yeah, three kilometers, then keep left on 201. Sure, yeah, whatever. Get with it, Mandy. I'm disappointed in you. Well, we made it around Calgary. Coming close to Strathmore now, and the roads have gotten a lot better, thank God. Stress levels are going down as we speak. Oh man, my stomach was just in knots over going up those mountains. You know what's stupid? Last night, going, I was following this one guy who would slow down to a crawl on the uphill. And the uphill was like sheer ice. Well, not sheer ice, but you know, packed with snow and whatnot. And I'm like, what are you doing, buddy? You're gonna get us all stuck. Because if we stop, we can't get going again unless we chain up. What do you know? We all got stuck. There's about 150 trucks stuck on the hill. All because the guy in front of me didn't know what he was doing. I wasn't mean to him. I go and talk to him. I was like, what was, uh, why, why were you uh, going so slow up the hill? I mean, we're all stuck now. It's like, oh, it's icy. You can't go any faster than that. I'm like, buddy, buddy, if you're gonna make it up this hill, you gotta give her. I didn't say that. I was thinking it in my head. I just sort of said, oh, okay. I'll just go chain up my tires quietly and go around you. So yeah, all of us were forced to chain up and climb the hill because one guy decided to stop on the uphill, right in the lane of traffic, on a two lane, going up a mountain. Don't they learn that in driver school? Like, it's all about momentum, right? All physics and stuff. You keep an object moving, it'll keep moving. You stop it, you're stuck. I don't know if that's physics or not, but it's common sense, isn't it? Like, I had a heavy load on, I was lucky, but the guys who, like, were empty were having a hard time climbing the hill with chains. It's ridiculous. You gotta give her. You gotta give her, give her, give her. Because if you don't, we're all stuck. Don't be a jerk though. I mean, don't go like 100 kilometers an hour, but I mean, just keep a steady, slow pace. A steady pace. Not too fast, just steady. Don't stop. That's the tip of the day. That one's free. Next one's five bucks. Left on West Lake Road, then turn left. No, Mandy, we're gonna get some fuel here at the card lock We're in Strathmore, Alberta. This was not very well planned out here. There's not enough room to get in here. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this high tech setup here. Wow. Pump straight from the 80s. Nice, I love retro days. It seems like every day in Canada is retro day. Oh, am I tired? I still look tired, don't I? I'm tired. Oh, I did not sleep well last night. I was so stressed last night after that incident with the hill, people stopping on the uphill. Why do you stop on the uphill? No. Momentum, people. Don't go too fast, just keep momentum. Steady momentum. Keep the same speed on the uphill. On the downhill, yeah, go slow on the downhill. I don't care if you stop on the downhill, we're not gonna get stuck going down. Gravity will do the rest for us, but uphill you're fighting gravity and if you stop gravity wins right diesel gravity weird stuff I wonder how gravity works you ever think of that why am I stuck to the earth it's sort of like a magnet it's weird look at these big honking loads in front of me Woo! not this car Look at that thing, do you see it? They take up the entire road. I just saw them turn the stoplight. You'll see once we cross under the underneath the stoplight, they moved the traffic lights so that they could get through. That's how big they are. It's insane. 
blocking traffic and stuff like they own the road. They pretty much do right now. <laughs> okay, look at this. When we go past these traffic lights, you'll see that the traffic light that's supposed to be hanging over our lane is spun out of position. No, oh, they're gonna spin it back now. Look at that. Here it comes. <laughs> that is awesome. I don't even care that I got stuck at the red light now. That was awesome. I wanna move lights too. I wanna haul big loads. Isn't that crazy? mess of cars all because of those two massive loads they had to move these traffic lights too look you'll see them swing back right away the loads are too high I've never seen anyone move traffic lights like that for a load before there it comes <laughs> why is that funny I don't know I just find that hilarious oh Imagine being those truck drivers, man, they must feel like a boss. Like, that's right, traffic lights move for me. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so it looks like they're gonna let us pass here now. Nuts, all that fuss for this. Why is my gear not grabbing? There we go. Come on, Trucker Josh. Come on, Trucker Josh. Man, you pulling that thing like a boss, driver. That is awesome. He's got a big grin on his face. He's like, yeah, that's right. I'm the boss. <laughs> One more. Man, they're going pretty fast. Hey, wait up, buddy. Are they going to let me pass? Nuts! I don't know what these things are, but guaranteed they're for the oil fields. It's right in Alberta. Oh look, this one has a truck pushing too. Give her, buddy, give her, give her, give her! Like a boss. Yeah! What do I gotta do to get a job doing that? That made my day. That was awesome. Oh no, and there's someone broken down. How are you gonna get around this guy? <laughs> that sucks. Pardon me, those other two guys were the little guys. This here's the boss. Woo! Now that's a load I'd like to pull, or push. Look at this guy, he's pushing. Yeah! Like a boss. That there's the boss. Good day, sir. You're the boss. That is awesome. I wonder how much he gets paid to pull that thing. I know it's Husky Coffee, it's not Timmy's. It's extra caffeinated though to make up for the lack of espresso in it. All right, not bad. So we're gonna end today's vlog with this clip. I know I've been doing a lot of like two, three part vlogs and my phone is distracting. Wow, And I hope you guys don't mind, I'm playing catch up because when I did that Arctic Ant gig, I got really behind in my videos. So I'm just playing a little catch up here and making a few more videos for you. I think I got almost two weeks out of this one week. You'll have videos for a while, or you've been having videos for a while. We're already on day six, part one. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this nice stress-free prairie riding. Riding, I'm not riding. I can't even talk. Stress-free prairie ride across the flatlands here. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. We're not gonna make it home tonight, so might be a short video tomorrow yet, but we're pretty much just dropping the trailer in Winnipeg and then going home. We'll see what I can make out of that. We'll 
See you later.